tell by the title, I'm going to be showing y'all how I made my little DIY photo frame, photo panel things to go on my walls. So the first thing I did was I drew lines so I can know where to cut my little panels off. But you're going to see in the next few clips that I actually did not need to do that. I just kind of cut it. I, no, I bent the poster because it was already kind of like pre-bent and I cut it along that invisible seam. So now I'm cutting the the two panels off and this was kind of hard to cut. So what I did was I cut like either side and then like I met my cuts in the middle. So I cut halfway on one side, halfway on the other side and then it was easier for me to cut. So now I have three separate parts and two separate panels that I'm going to use for my pictures. So I actually already had two pictures from Shutterfly that I had already ordered previously just so I could check the quality, just so I could like look at the quality of it. So I'm, I'm actually using those pictures to map out where I'm going to glue down the actual picture that I'm going to go on my poster board i don't know where i got this idea from but doing this actually gave me the exact amount of pictures i needed whether i needed portrait or landscape so if you plan on doing this i really recommend that you map out the position of your pictures so all i did was i just kind of positioned the pictures where i thought i wanted them to be and then i traced them out and then at the end you're gonna see that I numbered them I don't know why I numbered them it really didn't matter but in order for you to know what kind of pictures to buy like I said portrait or landscape it just it keeps you from buying too many or too few pictures It's been a few days and I went on Shutterfly and I ordered all the pictures that I needed. So for both of them, I needed 10 pictures, but for one, I needed three landscape. And then for the other one, I think I needed like four landscape pictures. So this is me just flipping through my pictures, checking the quality, make sure they look good. So now I'm about to start gluing them down. So I didn't really have an idea of like what kind of pictures I wanted. I just wanted them to look good. So I put the one that I had red hair in. I put that one in the middle because as y'all can see, I do not wear red hair like that. So I kind of wanted to make the red hair one like the center of the show kind of for this panel. So that's what I did. And to glue my pictures down, I used a hot glue gun. I probably should have used some other kind of glue, but um, a hot glue gun works. All, it's an all-purpose glue, so it really doesn't matter. So this is what I have. I have all my pictures in the position that I mapped them out in. So for my second one, I noticed that the glue was drying pretty quickly. So I don't use hot glue guns like that. So I had to kind of hurry it up when I was gluing down my pictures. So my second one kind of ended up looking a little bit better than the first one. Oh well, it doesn't matter. So now I'm finished gluing my pictures down. So 
now I'm going to add some flair. I'm going to add some flavor to the ends, to the corners, the sides of my poster. So I got this trim from Hobby Lobby for like $3. They were having a nice little Black Friday sale. And I'm just taking that hot glue gun. I'm putting the glue on the side of the poster and I'm sticking that ribbon on. So, um, y'all, hot glue guns are hot. I do not do DIY stuff like that. So, I was, like, dying. So, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I measure out the, the trim, and then I cut it. Then I trim it. Well, I glue the trim on there a section at a time because I did learn my lesson that hot glue dries relatively quickly. So this is what I have. This is my end result. Y'all, I am so proud of this little thing. <laughs> it's so cute. I literally just repurposed a poster board and this is what I got. So here's my finished product. I really enjoyed making this and I think I'm gonna do more DIY content just because I just, I had a lot of fun making it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that I have uploaded in the past. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in my next video.